Hello amazing people of YouTube and welcome to Weekends with What The Math. In today's video we're going to be talking a little bit more about space stuff that's going on in the world right now and I'm also going to make a few announcements about uh, future videos this week. We're going to start with this thing here and this is called Project Loon. This is by Google and it's essentially a very very large balloon that has a sort of like a Wi-Fi receiver or basically an internet hotspot attached to it which will essentially try to create internet for some of the harder to reach spots on, on Earth. So what Google is planning is they're going to have a bunch of balloons flying around Earth that will then uh, send signals, internet signals and provide internet connection everywhere. Isn't that awesome? I think that's pretty awesome. In other news, there is a bunch of French scientists that have now discovered this new way of making ion engines and they're called ion plasma, where are they? Negatively charged plasma ion engines. Now, this is essentially a new rediscovery of an old technology which allows us to now propel uh, our spacecraft with a lot more efficiency, thus saving so much fuel. Specifically, this actually will allow us to go to Mars with a lot larger spacecraft with a lot more efficiency. Read more about this in the description below. On the other hand, NASA seems to have failed in developing their so-called warp drive. This actually, this is a story that surfaced a few times now, where someone said that they've discovered a way to travel without using any fuel, and this obviously made us uh, kind of hopeful for some sort of a super cool warp engine or interstellar drive. And uh, this so-called company called Eagleworks um, has confirmed that they've detected something in that theory, and you can read more about the theory in the description, because the, that's what the link is. But here's the thing, they still are not sure if this is just statistical error, because that's really what it looks like. They've done this several times and every single time they had the same error where it shows you that there's some sort of a some something's happening but we don't know what and so we can't really certainly say that there is such a thing as the so-called warp drive yet but it's very possible so let's keep our fingers crossed because maybe it's, it will come true but in some more exciting successful news from NASA, Cassini probe which is the probe that's currently flying around Saturn's moon called Enceladus also known as Enceladus if you're from Latin America, I guess. Uh, okay, pardon my humor. Anyway, so yes, uh, the Cassini probe has actually now sort of dove into the atmosphere, or not like uh, the upper atmosphere of this this particular moon, and has captured some of the particles from its surface because there was some sort of a eruption, um, specifically probably a geyser that erupted a lot of. Uh, you can kind of see it here, a lot a lot of different particles, and so Cassini probe managed to capture some of them, and is going to do it again on Wednesday, this Wednesday. So we're going to learn more about the um, composition of Enceladus without really landing on it. And uh, NASA is now almost certain that there's actually ocean underneath, and this is right now the prime candidate for life outside of Earth. So Enceladus it has very, very high chance of having mi microbial or some sort of a very tiny life on its, uh, or not on its surface, but underneath the surface in its water. Now, whether we discover life or not, uh, we'll find out in the future when one day we'll, we'll land on this particular moon, go inside uh, the water underneath and try to explore a little bit under, under the surface of Enceladus. Nevertheless, this doesn't change the fact that this is a very, very beautiful moon and I really can't wait to play around with this particular moon in Universe Sandbox 2. And lastly, it's Halloween, but at the same time, there's actually something called Halloween Asteroid that has actually flew relatively close to our planet and it was about 400 meters in uh, in diameter. So this, if, if it actually crashed during Halloween and if it actually hit our planet, we would be in a lot of trouble because that would be probably one of the worst Halloweens ever. But yes, so um, a lot of scientists made fun of it by calling it a big pumpkin because it just so happens that it passed by on October 31st and it was approximately uh, one moonar or not moonar, lunar distance away from, from our planet. So it was about 300-ish thousand kilometers away so not very close but nevertheless this was a it was, this is considered to be a near earth asteroid and the reason why we didn't really see it is because it didn't actually come from the side like usually when you have if you look at the solar system so here's a picture the uh, asteroids they come from the same plane of orbit but this one came from underneath so we weren't even looking there it sort of really snuck up on us from underneath and managed to scare a lot of scientists but luckily nothing happened so read more about the story in the description below in other news, yes, we have finally made it to 5,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, guys. I made, I made a video about it, and I'm really, really excited to have more months and more years and more decades together. Anyway, let's uh, continue having fun, and hopefully you enjoy the videos. 
And let's talk more about Halloween. So here's my costume. You can probably guess who that is. And I try to even capture the facial expression. I don't know if I succeed or not. Uh, and tell me about yours. Post in the comments below. What was your costume? If you can actually attach a picture. I don't know how. If YouTube allows you to post a picture, do it. If not, just describe in the words. Who were you? What were you? And what did you do on Halloween? Lastly, thank you for all the recommendations and for all of the suggestions for various video games. I'm going to try most of the suggestions, uh, especially the ones that I think are appropriate for this channel, like Space Engine, definitely we're going to do more Space Engine. We're going to try Space Engineers because that's one game I actually am not very good at, but I'm going to try to get better and post, post something because I have just discovered how to actually land on planets in Space Engineers. We're going to try that as well. We're also going to try more From the Depths because it's actually on sale right now. If you go to uh, this link right here, bundlestore.com. Um, they actually have the game for only five bucks, so buy it if you don't have it yet. And we're going to try together, let's create something awesome and beautiful. We're also going to try more planet base. I'm going to try a more difficult mission this time, because in the last mission, all of my dudes died, and I have to start over from scratch, because they died of hunger. That happens, right? Astronauts need to eat. And lastly, someone actually recommended Spore, and I, I can't believe I missed that. I don't know how I never actually tried this on this channel, because even though it's an old game, it is absolutely brilliant. I'm gonna try Spore for sure. Uh, so one of the future videos will be about Spore. Anyway, this week I'm gonna try to finish playing Soma. I've been actually trying to play every day, but it's kind of, it's it's a really, really scary game, And but I, I really can't wait to finish. And this is going to be sort of the finale because it's Halloween and I need to finish this horror game. I'm also going to try um, starting a new horror game just because I kind of really got really interested in them now. And the one I wanna try is Alien Isolation. Someone recommended it earlier and I definitely wanna try it because not only do I love Alien the movie, but it's also, it looks really, really creepy. And anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you so much. And game you later. Enjoy the videos and enjoy the Halloween parties that you're probably going to be going to right now. Depending on where you live, of course. Thank you and bye-bye.